This is Forbidden Ground. country you can see them and they can see you too. <laughs> big herd starts to head for the bedding area, so I set up for an ambush.
the bull got within 80 yards and as I stood to try to see if I could get a shot at him these cows that were to my left that I didn't see spooked The herd went silent for a while, so I threw out some cow calls, and soon they were back talking again. I never really did have a decent shot opportunity. The wind was blowing downhill and it wasn't very long before those elk got down below me and started to smell me. And once that happened, they really moved out. Well, we had an encounter, we'll call it. We had an opportunity. Um, I saw these elk moving into this bedding area and I tried to hit them off. And I got in position and I kept looking too much and they the cow noticed me and that's why I said okay I'm gonna just sit here and wait till they fly by and the problem is the bull came right close to where I was before probably standing in the open I could have 64 yards I didn't see him until I got up because I started to see cows And then they're looking at me, so she started taking off and she pulled everybody with her. And pretty soon the whole herd left, probably 70 cows. Right now, the other half of the herd is leaving out of the basin. You won't be able to see this, but they're way over there. So bad. The fire's bad. I don't know where it's coming from. Can't tell. The wind's coming from the north. Maybe a little clearer from there. So we're assuming it's, I think it's east. Northeast. That's bad though. I got my pack all done. It's probably ways 
35, 40 pounds. Yeah, we need to leave because I can't, I won't be able to breathe. <clears throat> it's unexpected, but we were kind of planning on leaving anyway. But now I can't go to that other unit either because it's too, I mean, the other section of this unit because it's too, it'll be smoke up there too. So um, I got another trip planned in two weeks. Hopefully it'll help to get something done with that fire. Anyway, so we got to go downhill. 45 degree grades for some of it. That's going to be hell. But like I said, you need a team of four people to get anything out of here. I could have shot at that bowl this morning, but that's risky. He, he just wasn't big enough to justify it. I had a spinal shot on him, but I didn't know the yardage. And I was reaching for my rangefinder when the wind swirled a little bit. And, and so he smelled me. And he got up to leave, but he wasn't sure which direction to go. And so the cow kind of held him back. And then we had a standoff for easy 20 minutes. And their vision must not be as crystal clear because they can see at night. And uh, so it's hard. They have to rely on movement. And so even though we were I was 64 yards away, he couldn't be sure what I was. Um, so finally he bedded down and I circled around trying to get a better angle, but never could. And so I decided to leave. Anyway, we gotta go get out of here. I'm probably gonna have to wear a mask all the way home so I can breathe. All right, this is forbidden ground and this area right here is untamed. See ya.